So we have that opening riff. And there's a couple of ways of playing it, so I'll show you both. So first thing to mention, we're in E flat tuning. So that's E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, B flat, E flat. So we're going to play an open bottom string, second fret of the A, second fret of the E. Sorry, second fret of the D. Then we're going to slide up on the D string to fret 6 and fret 5. Then repeat that first part. Then we're going to play 2 on the D, 3 on the D. And then 1 on the bottom string. So... So that's the first riff. There is another way of playing it, which is just playing it as an open chord. So you play an E chord, and then we're going to take the first finger off. So E, A, D, G strings. First finger off and play the G again. So. Do the same again. And then on the D string, two, three, and then one on the bottom string. So. Then we play that through a few times, and then the last time around, we've got these um, octaves. Or you can play it. There, okay, so we're going to play an octave on the D string, five, six, three, and then five, five, eight on the A string. If you want to play it on the, all on the same string, come up to ten on the A, up to eleven, eight, Five, five, eight, and that's all on the A string. At the end of the riff, we're going to play those two chords. So it'll be so. That's just an open bottom string power chord to the first fret. Then we're going to play the same riff, but we're going to tremolo pick it. Or if you're playing it with the regular chord shape. Then we're back into playing it the regular way. At the end of that, we're back into those two power chords, open bottom string to the first. Then we're gonna play it with blast beats again. And at the end, we're gonna play first fret power chord on the A string to two and three on the bottom string. Then we have this riff. So a tremolo picking, and we've got an E minor chord, a D minor chord, an E minor chord, then a power chord on the bottom string, fret 4 to fret 1. Then we have this. So, open bottom string power chord to the first fret. Open again, and then we're going to play this chord. So it's one, 
two, three, four. And we're going to tremolo pick through that. Then same again. Power chord up on four to one on the bottom string. Same again with the as the first part. Then and then this time we're going to play it on the second fret, so that same chord. And then five, two. So slowly. Then we've got the regular intro riff again. That we played earlier, and obviously you can play it that way, or... Or that way. Then we have a riff that sounds as though it goes like this. So we're tremolo picking on the A and the D string. And we've got seven on the A, five of the D. And then we're gonna move that to 10 of the A, six of the D. And then eight of the A, six of the D. Then we're back into this riff. That we played earlier. I do actually think that when we're playing this chord, the other guitar is up here. And that's on eight, nine, ten on the A, D, G. Then we have a riff that goes a bit like this. So it's all tremolo picked, and we're going to play open bottom string, two of the A, two of the D, two of the A to three of the D, power chords on the bottom string, th four, five, four, one, four, then tremolo picking again, open bottom string, two of the A, two of the D, two of the A, three of the D, one, two, one of the G, three of the D, one of the G, three of the D. So let's do that slowly. Then we have something that goes a bit like this. And over the top of that. Or something along those lines. I can't hear exactly the rhythm they're playing, but that's the notes. So we've got first fret power chord on the bottom string, three, two on the A. First fret bottom string power chord again. Three. And then this chord, which is one of the bottom, two of the A, three on the D. And then over the top of that, we got. So we got eight of the high E, six of the B, five of the G. And then move it back a fret. Then we're back into this riff that we played earlier.
Then we're back into this riff, which we also played earlier. And then we finish on the opening riff. And then we're going to play that open bottom string power chord to the first fret. And that's the end of the song. To record this video, I'm using my Yamaha Pacifica PAC611 HFM, a Victory Duchess V40 amp, and for distortion, I'm using an Ibanez Smashbox. I hope you enjoy the video. If you do, make sure you give it a like, subscribe, hit the little bell for notifications. See you later.